Okay, in 2000, if nominal GDP equaled 9,873 billion, while the M2 money supply was 4,801 billion, what was the velocity of the M2 money stock? Well, let's just recall, first of all, the uh, quantity theory of exchange, which is the stock of money times the velocity of money must be equal to the price level times real GDP. Now, it might appear that this is a bit of a trick question because we are neither given the real GDP nor the price level. But we're actually given something much easier. That is the nominal GDP, which is actually just the P times the Q. We're just being given the product of these two numbers. So we can go ahead and write that number in the top, 9, 8, 7, 3, as our nominal GDP. And if we divide that by M, that'll leave V by itself. So velocity would simply equal to nominal GDP from the right-hand side divided by the stock of money, which is 4801. And when you do that on a calculator, you end up with a number close to 2.06. And in fact, actually, from each of these numbers that you saw, you could probably have made an educated guess that for sure it wasn't 0.49 or 0.60. And uh, if you had a calculator with, it, with you, you could confirm that it is indeed 2.06.